Okay, for today is one of the biggest stars in Africa, actor, model, TV personality. Nah, this guy, they bust my head. Give it up for I.K. Obona, guys. All right, uh, so let's go into it. Um, I know the ladies love you. What's your favorite pickup line that has always worked? To the ladies or the ladies to me? Which one? The ladies. No, you to the ladies. Uh, funny enough. Funny as enough, boy. Funny as it sounds, I've never toasted a girl in my life. What? Never. I don't know how to do it. You'll be I, fine, boy. No. no There's nothing about, about being a fine boy. I yeah? think I, I grew up around people. I had so many female friends at the same time. And most of my relationships always started from friendship. We're oh. friends. We start liking ourselves. It so you've never ever really asked any girl out? Mm -mm. Maybe my ex-wife. Okay. Uh, I, I would probably call that asking out because I was liking her pictures and then I was like, ah, my wife. I don't know if that's going to be regarded as asking out. Okay, but yeah, yeah. I'm that kind of person. I, I like to flow with friendship and we start gisting and get carried away, laughing and all that kind of mm. thing. And then next thing, ah, you don't enter. <laughs> wow. <Well, no. laughs> yeah. well, okay, but I'm sure you have something. You have something. Let's try it. Let's pick do up let's, line. Let's, what about line B? Toast me here. Toast me here. Let me see if I'll go. Yeah, let's go, man. Oh. <laughs> let's go <laughs> now. Upward. Toast me. Uh, let me try something now. Okay, let's uh, go. Hey, how are you? Hi, baby boy. Here's my phone. Can I get your number? Why? I'll call you later. Why? Why would I give you my number? Oh, you have to find out. <laughs> boy, you bad. That's, that's probably my kind of person. Man. Wow, yeah. damn. <laughs> okay, now um, let's talk about how it was growing up for for you. Were you from a wealthy family? No, not really. My parents were doing just right. You mm -hmm. know. Um, Providing three square meals, education, you know, those basic things. And um, probably at some point you lost that spoon. Yeah, I feel like you know, so it's always been like this, like that. But, you know, I've not been one person to look at anyone or family or whatever. I've, I've always been self sufficient. Even as a child, I would rather find a way to get something than ask for it. You know. Wow, you are really hardworking then. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so. At what point in your life did you decide, oh, I'm a guy today, I want, from now on, I want to be actor. I guess they enter movie, I guess they show my face, I'll be fine boy. Oh, I do. Yeah. It's, you know, I, I just knew I wanted to be a superstar. Oh. I didn't know how or what I was going to do, but I was just, as a child growing up, I just liked magazine covers. Mm. Then it was the Hint magazines and, yeah. you know, all those other ones, you know. So I like the magazine covers, the fact that you would see Saint Obi on the magazine. Yeah, Saint Obi. Yeah, those yeah. are the names ah, there now. Good old days, yeah. And um, when you're watching TV, mm. we didn't have much on TV that time. So you probably get to see our movies when you go and rent the, mm -hmm. the DVDs. Yes. You know, or cassette players before DVDs. Yeah. So I just knew I wanted to be a star. I didn't know what it was going to be or how it was going to be. But everywhere I went, I, I got attention from people. So I, I liked the attention and I wanted to sustain it. So I remember in 2005, I went for a TV show called Amsterdam Water Box Office, where a TV show. Wow. I was a housemate. That was the first ever one. And it was geared towards creating superstars, movie stars. Wow. And I thought that was my break. Like, okay, after this, Nollywood, here it comes. So <laughs> it didn't happen like that. I came out and then nothing was happening for me. So I focused on modeling. Wow. But Nollywood came to me in 2012. I was mm -hmm. just... Outside the club, chest open, six hmm, packs. Sexy. Airing. Girls big love ones. all ah, <laughs> girls love all that shit. And man. then Rukisanda was like, I think Rukisanda came to buy Suya. And then she was like, hey, fine boy. Mm -hmm. And I looked at her and she was like, hey, I'm doing a movie. Do you want to be in my movie? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. This, this, like this was that. my attitude. I don't know. I don't know if I want to be in there. I don't, I don't know. She was like, no, give me your give me number. You must be in my movie. And then she gives me, calls me on set, gives me a script for a lead character, and I'm, I don't know what to do, you know. At that point, did you have experience? Nothing, not, not nothing. really. But I would say I had little experience because I was doing TV. I was a TV presenter. I was presenting a show called uh, I forgot no that show, but I was presenting a TV show or two TV shows at, at that point in time. So I had camera experience, and. Um, once in a while, Elvis chose to call me to feature in the TV series, two scenes here, three scenes there. So I had that little experience, but I wouldn't really call that experience because when I got on set, I was scared. I mean, I was seeing superstars there, and then I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I can't be playing with these people. So I looked for a very cheap reason to escape. 
and then she was upset. Oh, but she's still coming back again to be in the next movie, and that was how we started. Huh. From there, it's one call after the other. And then the money started coming in. Oh, shit. It didn't start coming in like that. Too. It oh, took it a while. It took a while. Wow. A long while. I remember I was taking like 30K, 20K, 50K, you know, per movie. And wow. then, you know, when people started appreciating. My set of actors were the first model like looking people on TV, if I would say. The likes of Alex. Yeah, Alex Me, <laughs> um, Brian, Kenneth, Ken, Kenneth Okoli. Mm -hmm. You know, before then, we didn't really have those kind of people on TV. So when we came in from model, we're all models and we came in. So when we came in, it was like, oh, people just readily accepted us. Why would they have five models <laughs> and everything? Why would they have they really liked to tell us and then yeah, that was how it started for me. You're energetic and adventurous, man, which is like a dangerous combo. So what so you do you do for fun? Tell me how you know I'm energetic. Guy, you look like someone that is you energetic. Look. <laughs> Muscles to know, man. What do you do for fun? Let's just go down to that. What do I do for fun? Oh. Um, I'm not really an introvert, but I like indoor activities more, more than being out there. Mm -hmm. I would probably like to have a house party or Ooh. go for a house party, Yum. games, mm -hmm. barbecue. Yum. Um, I'm a lover of PlayStation, Ooh. FIFA. FIFA. Ha! Fan no, there. I'm a huge fan of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I'll still be I'll Mortal Kombat. Must, we will play. I, would, I have the CD, I'll play. I mean, we'll play. We'll fin I will finish it and, today. Uh, what else? Uh, I like to cook sometimes. Oh, you Keep cook? My, yeah, a lot. Well, what do you love making? Uh, I'm a creative cook. I create while cooking, like, wow. I know this would taste nice with this. You're like every woman's, oh, let me shut up. Okay. <laughs> Breakfast in bed and shit. <laughs> yeah, so I'm that kind of person. Ooh. And um, I like good company. Um, a friend, two friends, three, four, five. Ooh. Are you thinking what that nice thinking? vibes, you know, let's stay in house. What do you mean by two, three, four, five friends? I don't know what <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm the kind of person that I like company. Like I don't mind inviting a friend to come and even stay the night. We don't have to do anything. We can just talk. Okay. How do you deal with negative comments on the internet, on social media, basically? So I'm a very positive person, mm. and I believe in the fact that you cannot give what you do not have. Before you give something, you have to have it. So negative people only give what they have, which is negative energy. And hmm. Positive people give what they have, which is positive energy. Word. When you look at a thousand comments, you realize that you actually do have more positive comments than negative comments. So why should I dwell my energy on the negative energy? And I don't know the day when you even open the profile of these people, two followers, three <laughs> followers, one post. They are sad about life. These are people that life is not working for them mm -hmm. and they come on your page and they just want you to fall into that same box they fall into so that they can feel like they're not they're not alone so i don't i don't i don't look at it i look at my life what's going on in my life how hard i'm working what i'm trying to achieve and the people that genuinely love me wow. you, you, jesus christ as as magnificent as he was he had haters so you cannot live this life without haters and you would always have supporters. It just depends on who you want to focus your energy on. That's true. So to all the haters, I wish them well. Mm -hmm. Someone would probably be in homeless under the bridge and had access to Wi-Fi from the next building commenting on your picture and you want to focus energy on him. So I don't think Dangote would come to my, come to my post and say bad things or Dangote, Dangote, <laughs> you know, or Dangote. whiskey, people that have things going on in their life, people that are productive and positive, they don't come to your page to comment negative. You ain't got time for that, man. Yeah, so to all the negative commenters, please continue. More comments. More comments. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, what advice would you have given your younger self? If you would have done things differently, what would that be? To stay true to yourself and don't change anything. I wouldn't do anything differently. I just, life is a book. I just want to leave every single page and, you know, get to the end of it. So, uh, I saw you open it on your Instagram. You have this project coming out on 24th, directed by Robert O. Peters. That's a course, that's a wise movie. Yeah. So, what character did you play and what's the movie all about? So, that's a very funny story. I was in Miami, oh. shopping live, having <laughs> fun, eating prawns and drinking wine. Ooh. And AY called and was like, oh, you're in Miami, let's get to work, you know. And AY is someone I respect a lot, you know. He's the boss. 
apart from just being a boss, he's a person that you would just want to emulate his drive, his vision, his passion for work, you know, and how you just watch this man achieving and scoring points, you know. So when he called me, got a little script to play cameo and I got on set, but I couldn't do everything that I was supposed to do because I had a lot of movements within America, you know, so I just played one or two scenes as cameo and but it's an amazing movie that people should look forward to. I heard it'll be out on the twenty fourth. Yeah, it's it's an amazing movie. There was a lot put into it. I was privileged to see the behind the scenes, the actors, the level of production, you know, and he puts his all into it. So it's something that I personally want to watch as a fan and as a friend and family. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned and go check out Aquas. By, yes. directed by Robert Christmas Opitas. Christmas in Miami. Christmas in Miami. All right, guys, we'll be right back after this break for this segment. Right. This segment is going to blow your mind. Um, before we go, you know, this is my last episode for the season. So let's just, you know what, let's go so back. I'm the last guy. Stand You're not me. the last guy. You can never be the last guy. Do you look like a last Do you like, look like no, the last you guy? Just hit me now that I'm the last guy standing. No, you're not. You I don't know how to feel be... about this. I, you, know, look, you need to interview someone else after this. I, I can't be the last. Alex! <laughs> 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 what are you saying? Is that uh, Alex? Um, guan, um, kai, so, um, Alex, now say so. So, oh, um, 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 the, the last guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back after this break. Mr. P. Yo, what's up, my people? They call me Road Boy. Yeah, you already know it's your boy Zlatan. You'll be like a fire to my marriage, Paco. Yo, what up, people? It's your boy Victor Eddie. Yo, what's up, people? My name is Igo Save. Watch out for the Petit Talker. Don't touch your dino. Keep watching the Petit Show. Keep watching Petit Talk Show with Cassandra, okay? This is Petit Talk Show. I love you much, love. Watch out for the Petit Talk Show. Cassandra, I see you. Petit Talk Show. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my game segment. And this segment, we would be playing a game. Ike, we're playing peer pong. I'm gonna state the rules. Are you okay. ready? I'm a player, I like to play a game. You're a player? I like to play a game. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so let me state the rules of the game. Um, Now, here's a ball, obviously. We're playing peer pong. We toss it like this. And yeah. it goes in. Yeah, I you would drink. Now, if if, if that was me, I yeah. would drink. Okay. And you would have to drink. Okay. I see why you're a player, huh? You, see, you love I, to play I, games. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, now, now let's do this. Here you go. So who's going first? You are going first. It's All my right. show. <laughs> okay. Why don't you go? That's cheating. Why? Why, why did you go close to the <laughs> I didn't go close, I stood here, I didn't move. See. So now you drink. Why do I have to drink? <laughs> Why do I have to drink? I am all about good vibes <laughs> and highness. <laughs> and you have to take everything. I guess you are wondering why we're dressed like this. Compliments of the season, guys. Happy Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Don't guys. Don't forget drink. You oh finish your drink first. <laughs> Can I hear that? Man? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. So a soldier. So uh, let's take it in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm just like, I'm going to drink to deal. <laughs> drink! This game is very unfair. Drink! Drink! This you're going to have unfair. to drink. You're going to have, you're, you're gonna so have to drink. We're drinking for every single round. That's that's what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, by the way, she's I not have... being fair. She's putting more drink for me than you. Drink it. You said I'm a soldier. Man, you're a soldier too. So drink. But before we do that, before we go in the rest next round, I have a few questions to ask you. Okay. Boobs or ass? Nash all day. Nash all day? Anyway, while I've all no get bum bum bum. I like my ass. Pierce or FIFA? Pierce or what? Pierce or FIFA? FIFA. FIFA. You just have to. No, don't bend. Stand tall like a soldier. You bent in your time, no? No, I didn't. I stood tall like a fucking soldier. That's cheating now. I didn't bend. No. Range or bends? Not have to drink. Range. Why range? Because I have a range. Oosh! We're going cruising in your range. <laughs> this is not fair. Why do I always have to drink? Take it in. Mm. I hate this game. This guy's a cheat. <laughs> for you, small drink. Dubai or SA? Here. Dubai or SA? 
Can we ask me something else? No, so, Dubai or SA, pick your poison. SA is my family, Dubai is my family. You gotta pick one. I can't choose one for business reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we've come to the end of the show. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Petit Talker. Follow me on Instagram at Petit Talker. This is the last episode for the season, but season two will be back and it's gonna blow your mind. I can't. Do you have anything to tell your fans out there? Uh, beautiful year so far. It's mm. been filled with ups and downs, but we made it to the end. We and did. I wish each and every one of you a happy Christmas, mm. beautiful new year, and may all your dreams, your ambitions, your aspirations come to pass. <music>